so my name is Navala Osembo. I am the CEO of Enda, which is a company that makes performance running footwear based in Africa, but we serve them around the world. For years, Kenya has been known globally as the home of running champions. Navalaya saw Kenya's fame as an opportunity to make a product that would complement this reputation by making a product from here that will be appreciated globally. The thought behind Enda came from various things. One was the realization that Kenya has a really great reputation uh, in running, but you're not taking advantage of it economically. And secondly, also to spread the benefits of the industry so that it's not just left to a few top athletes to win prize money, but for much more people to be able to benefit from the industry. Good shoes are one of the secrets to running well, and Navalaya and her team have developed various types of running shoes to serve different customers. There is the E10, which is lightweight and ideal for gym workouts. There is the Lapatet, which have been built for everyday runs, long runs, and easy recovery runs. The thing that excites me is that, you know, if you follow how African history has always been, it's always been passed down through one medium or the other. And that's what we're trying to do with Enda, to make sure that a shoe is not just a shoe, it's educating, it's giving back pride, it's making people think, what do I want to do, what, what Africa do I want to see in future, what business do I support and things like that. So I see Enda from that perspective, growing not just from a shoe company, I'd say I'd like it to be like a lifestyle brand. Running is generally something that's on the rise, not just uh, here nationally, but also globally. Uh, in Kenya, in the context of Kenya, we always used to have only the athletes training, but now you always see people jogging or running around. So it's come down to ordinary people who recognize the benefit of running. In terms of the brand itself, we also started, uh, like our market here was small compared to the export market, but it's also been steadily increasing and we are hopeful that we'll be able to launch a retail location very soon. Building a business from concept to actualization is not easy. Navalayo says breaking down her goals has enabled her build her business one step at a time. I'd say actualization is actually the hardest bit. Everybody has an idea, not everybody gets to implement. But what I would say the biggest thing has been to break down the big picture into small, very small chunks, not even just small, break it to the point of what do I need to do today. So if the dream is to maybe own a beauty brand or a fashion brand, what do I need to do today is register that business, you know, or make a business plan. Like just do the small things that will eventually help you to get there. This month, Kenya joins the world in celebrating International Women's Day with the theme Breaking Barriers. Navalayo has been breaking her barriers by pursuing her passion in an industry that has been dominated by companies led by men. First, Enda is the only running shoe company based out of Africa. Yeah, all of them are out and about, but not on this continent. So I think that's very important considering the origin of a lot of uh, athletes is either African or either the African or kind of like originated from Africa. So I think we are changing the mindset from being consumers to being owners, actually making a space at, for ourselves at the table. There is nothing really that stops women from, from getting there. Navalayo has had some remarkable moments in her business, which has kept her going. Uh, one always remains when we went from the drawing to the actual prototype, this is one shoe, but we had moved from here is what we imagine and here is actually what the product would look like. So that was definitely a really good uh, moment just to realize, you know what, this is actually possible. <laughs> it's not as crazy as we thought. I think in 2017, uh, Lupita wore our shoes online. I think that really helped us. Recently, uh, we were second runners up at the Africa Business Heroes Challenge, uh, which was an amazing, amazing experience. And so I think that was also good in terms of elevating the company and also just giving us more credibility that we are on the right path and we just need to keep on pursuing it. I would dare say like I do see us as a multinational company, see Enda as the lifestyle brand from Africa. Like if you think of what's the shoe from Africa, it has to be Enda, but also sharing the cultural uh, bits of it. The journey has just begun for her and her team. As we celebrate women this month, Navalayo encourages women to be bold and to go after their dreams and ambitions. So I'd say um, thinking big, and taking time to think what do I want, you know, like I myself, because I feel like women also carry a lot of 
things in society and I would dare them to be a bit selfish to do that. It's not an easy journey, uh, especially I'm thinking about the cultural dynamics, you know, you want something. So seeking meetings might be why does this person want to see me? What will they think if I go to them? I think we have to get rid of all those things if we are to succeed, but we have to be bold. I don't think there's any other way than to be bold.